Hello, hello. Three days left in the logic trial period here, so let's not dally. I've got a Kronos X up here, and I've got some scratch tracks that I made uh, with uh, using piano, two piano parts with sampler. These are the MIDI tracks we can see here, and uh, it sounds like this. Okay, so that's the basic idea. So to change all this, we need to um, come here and we'll go to the instrument part and we're gonna hit external instrument stereo. Up here where you can deal with it. The MIDI destination is, this is my sound card. Yours obviously is gonna be different. My MIDI in. And we're going to pick channel one and the input, my audio input is one and two because it's stereo. Okay, whoops. And then, same story because we're going to do two of these. And three and four. And that should set us up for that part. Now then, and I don't want that recorded, but I do want these to be armed, as they say. And now over here to the Kronos land, it's worth mentioning, I'm in Logic 10.6.1, and this is Catalina. So here, when you boot your Kronos, it's going to look like this. And so we want to go into the uh, sequence mode. And the first thing we'll do is go to control surface and we'll click this link keyboard record track to control surface. And then we're going to go to the IFX and we're going to change, well, we'll do this uh, track two to three and four and track one to one and two. Now that's the outputs on the back of the Kronos, the audio outputs, and we're not going to use the left and right. At this point we should be able to go back to the mixer and there's my piano sound on track one. And if we're in the control surface area and go to control assign, there's a column of buttons there and we want timbre selected. That's the second, that's the p different piano patch. Whoops, it's not, because we didn't change it. Okay, so we can just, all right, so there it is, 007, and we can change its volume. That's channel one, that's channel two. And we've set our volume, more or less, and now at this juncture, we should be able to, we're armed. Uh, go ahead and hit record. Okay, so you've got the basic idea there. And if we unarm these, we can rewind. So there it is. You can see how that's doable. Now, the next cool thing we can try, um, now you might notice that up here when when I play the piano on the screen, I've got this MIDI in and out, and I think you, normally I would see each the name of the 
note that I played on the keyboard and we'd see the velocity and we'd see the channel and there'd be some other things in there after touch and whatnot. Um, I think that's not in there because I have to have an intermediary kind of a driver, sound driver to feed the screen capture, which is the QuickTime thing. Um, so I'm guessing, I'm hoping that's what it, what it is because I tried to make that work properly and I couldn't. But I'll go through briefly some of the things. If you really can't get MIDI to work on the between the Cronus and this and, and um, your sound card and Logic, here's some things you can try. I've got a RME interface. Yours is different, but somewhere in your uh, deal, you can try putting all this in here and see if that helps you out. Okay, and then you can go down here um, and command spacebar type in audio MIDI setup, enter, make sure your sound card is there. You can click that, you can double click that, bring up ports, see if that helps you. That doesn't do it. You can go logic, control surfaces, controller assignments, and make sure that your your doohickey is in here. And there's a couple of other things you can try. Preferences, recording, project settings, MIDI, synchronize, MIDI again, and make sure that your sound card is in here. These are ticked and these are ticked. And that's about all I know how to do with that. Now briefly, we'll look at this other thing. If you go to global mode, and let's see, go to MIDI, just pick channel one, and then the next one over here is gonna be external. And we will go to number three, because these are already kind of mapped out. And I think if you start at controller number 20 and go up into the 90s, that those are assignable. They're not kind of reserved for a lot of stuff. So I'm going to use, I can't, I've only got one camera, but on my control surface, you've got 16 buttons, buttons and they're, this, it's, this says mix, play, dash, mute, karma, scenes, blah, 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 mix, volume, da, da, da. It's the 16 buttons that are on there. The ones on the top are knobs that say pan, EQ, trim, low EQ, and so forth. It's the rig under that. And on the left-hand column where you pick which uh, button kind of repurposes all those sliders and knobs, you want to have EXT um, picked out. So from that point, I'm going to count 16, 15, 14. So 16, 15, 14, there's a number there. Um, okay, so at this point, I'm going to remember where that is. And I'm going to come up here to Logic, Controller, Surface, Controller, Assignments. I'm going to wipe all this out. And now I've got to get rid of this. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And then I'm going to go uh, logic, control surfaces, and this learn assignment for, vo whoops, that's not correct. OK, that's not it. Now let's go to a smaller version of this. That'll reveal this whole lash up here. So if we press the forward thing, and now go Command L, play is our expected input. So we're gonna pick our button and I'm gonna pick 16, 14, I'm gonna pick number 14. And it's not getting anything. So I guess that's not gonna work because of that driver. But ordinarily, and I'll make a different video if I can on how to do that. And, okay, so I guess that's all for today. Good luck, everybody.